Hello, my fellow humans, and welcome back to Scatter Out Love Tarot with another pick a card reading. And today we're just going to do a fun one that's not very long and why men are obsessed with you. These are always interesting and fun to do. So remember, they are general readings. So take what resonates and leave what doesn't. And if it does resonate, hit a thumbs up down below and subscribe to the channel and set that notification bell so you guys always know when the next video does go live. Remembering that as you interact with my channel, it allows me an opportunity to connect with you and get you out more resonant readings. And I do just want to say thank you so much from the bottom of my heart to anyone and everyone that has chosen to join the tribe who has subscribed to the channel and all the love that you guys have sent me. And I'm just so blessed to have each and every one of you guys here on this journey with me, trusting me with your energy, trusting me with this space and to be your tarot reader. I'm just so honored to be here with you guys. And I just want to say thank you so very much. <sighs> You guys light up my heart and you make my heart smile so many ways. <laughs> awesome. So with that being said, let's go ahead and get into this and start with the prayer, guys. And then we will go ahead and get your guys' oracle card to choose from. And we'll find out why are men obsessed with you guys. So let's see here. Let this burn for a second. Awesome. All right, my beloved source, this is a prayer for any and all who join this video. If just for a second's time or for the entire time, may they be touched with your unconditional love. And may they know that no matter how another person views them or whatever they say to them, that is not an indication of who they are. And with that being said, may they always come back to knowing who they are in this world and finding their true potential and standing firm and strong in that soul light that they all have. May they be reminded that each one of them is so precious to this journey, that each one of them belongs here on this journey, and that each one of them is serving a purpose for the greater good as they journey along their own path of least resistance. May you show them the way. May you help them find the path that is the least resistant. May you help them flow and know that in those times of ebbing, that these are the moments of growth. As these words are spoken unto this space and this reading and upon the humans here, so shall it be. Amen. Aho. Ase. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So let me tap, tap this off and put it in the burner over here. That. oops yeah try not to flip it over <laughs> okay guys so we are going to choose from the earth magic cards today my good old trustees and again this isn't going to be a super long reading or anything like that it's just going to be quick and fun for you guys let's give this a good shuffle and let's go ahead and draw our oracles for you so for pile number one source what oracle will help us understand why men are obsessed with pile number one what oracle card will help us understand why men are obsessed with pile number one oh okay <laughs> don't pay any mind to what you guys saw shh don't tell anybody for pile number two source what oracle card will help us understand why men are obsessed with pile number two okay Pile number two, what oracle card will help us understand why men... Whoa, okay. Thank you. All right, and for pile number three, source, what oracle card will help us understand... Oh, thank you. Okay. That was quick. All right, so let's see here. For pile number one, we do have this beautiful clear quartz that you guys can choose from. Okay. For pile number two, we have this zebra jasper. Okay. And for pile number three, we have this beautiful moonstone. Okay. 
move these up. Okay. So we pile one, pile two, and pile three. Whichever one you guys are drawn to, that should be the pile for you guys, keeping in mind that they are general readings. So that being said, whichever one you guys have chosen, I will see you over on Hello, your first pile piles. number one. This is for those of you guys that chose this beautiful clear quartz. This is going to be a reading on why are men obsessed with you? Keeping in mind that this is just how they feel what they're uh, consciously thinking and that is in no way a reflection on you as an individual so keep that in mind and take it with a grain of salt and with that it is a general reading but if it does resonate hit that thumbs up button down below knowing that as you interact with my channel it allows me an opportunity to connect with your energy and get you out more resonant readings so without further ado let's go ahead and get into it and get your dice reading on it so source for pile number one why are men obsessed with pile number one source? What messages can you tell us? How can you help us understand why men are obsessed with pile number one? So we have sixth house, cancer energy, and Jupiter. Ooh, you guys are lucky in the state of health. So this is like giving me vibes of you guys being able to... So if you guys wanted to grow your glutes, like you guys were able to grow your glutes, right? Like you're, you work out. Right. And it's like you guys were able to manipulate your body the way that you wanted to. And you guys were able to to basically construct the body of your dreams. And you guys are working on that. And it is actually working out really well for you guys, whether you hired a personal trainer or you guys, um, you know, have just really learned a lot and focused on it and it's leading you down this path of really connecting with your health in a very beautiful way you guys nurture your health you guys take care of your health and you're very feminine like this is a very feminine energy that i'm talking to and you guys come across as very feminine like you guys have childbearing hips and that's why men are obsessed with you we think that that's not a thing but it is because men were designed to look into those that could carry babies right and be healthy about carrying babies and so that is something that is deeply ingrained in the men and their, what do you call that, instinctual behaviors. So with this, it's like they see your work habits. They see you guys always being considerate of your health, your wellness, your fitness. You guys are working out. You have good routines in your life right you guys are very organized when it comes to taking care of yourself they also see the way that you guys may nurture small children or animals or you know different types of beings right so i heard that somebody here this is only going to resonate with a handful of you guys or someone in particular it's like you guys have reptiles like i kept hearing a snake or a lizard and it's like the way that you guys show up for your snake or lizard it's just like men are obsessed with that because it's like this reptile that most people are scared to death of and they can't even like bring themselves around and you treat it like a baby and it's your baby and you take really good care of it okay like so <laughs> i know that seems so random but it's like that's the energy i just got like you walk around with this boa constrictor all across your neck and you like give it kisses and you tell it it's a good boy or a good girl and like you just really you pet it and you take time with it and that's the type of energy like and that's it's it's uh intriguing and enthralling to men and so they're obsessed with that for others of you guys they just have you have general animals and they just like to see you guys take care of them. this has something to do with you guys being like a mother to their child like it's like they could see you guys being a mother to their child and if you're a man on here, you just have this very feminine energy and they're very drawn to that. Like it's that masculine being drawn to that magnetic feminine energy, right? Going back to this, it's like even if you don't want kids or whatever, it's like they feel like they're obsessed with you because of your body and the way that you look. It's not meant to make you feel bad or anything like that. But that is one thing that comes across as to why men are obsessed with you. You guys are very loving. You guys are very emotional, very supportive and compassionate and loyal. And that is something that they look for. There's also this energy of being soft and sensitive 
So if somebody has touched your skin, this sounds so weird. <laughs> if someone has touched your skin, you guys are very soft and they're obsessed with that. It's almost like touching silk or you guys have like milky skin or you guys just have very flawless skin. And so there's something to do with your skin that they're like really obsessed with. So random. You guys are always growing and expanding and you guys are spiritually growing and you're finding new ways to be happy. And because you guys are so optimistic and understanding and everything seems to come to you guys, it's very lucky. You guys might travel a lot too. So it's like you guys are very well-rounded and that's what men are obsessed with. Like they just love how well-rounded you guys are, how spoken you guys are how soft you guys are. So it's like, yeah, they're just like everything about you. They just can't get enough of. But with the sixth house starting your guys's reading, it definitely is the main focus is how you physically look. They just can't get enough of it. Okay. So I'm grabbing these. So I guess I want to use these today. Give it a shuffle here. So source, can we get some more information on why men are obsessed with pile number one. Why are men obsessed with pile number one source? What can you tell us? Like, I keep hearing you guys are sassy. Like, you, like yeah, you're these nice things, but you guys also have, like, a, a spicy side to you, right? So, it's like, they're obsessed with that, too. It's like, sometimes you guys might find that you have friends that make you mad. Like, men friends who make you mad just so they can see you mad because they think you're adorable when you're mad. Like, that's what men are obsessed with, that face that you make when you're mad. <laughs> oh. I've had people tell me that in the past, and that always irritated me. And then, of course, you know, you're like, oh. now I'm even more irritated and making the face some more, right? But, yeah, they're, they, like, think you're really cute when you're mad or when you're angry. They're like, oh, they're so cute when they're angry. and so, But they're obsessed with whatever face you make. Source, why, is, why are men obsessed with pile number one? What can you tell us? Okay. Oh, yeah. All right, here we go with the mystery cards, guys. Let's let's get it. <laughs> All right, why are men obsessed with pile number one source? What can you tell us? Why are men obsessed with pile number one? Why are men obsessed with pile number one source? Why are men obsessed? Whoa, okay. On the bottom of the deck, what do we got? the knight of coins in the reverse okay yeah okay so men are obsessed with you because they see you guys overcoming really sh shallow offers including their own so this is interesting but I do feel like you guys and it doesn't matter if you're if you're straight or if you're not straight whatever you identify with whatever it is that you find love with wherever you guys find love it doesn't matter but I feel like this is where men are offering you a relationship okay like they're offering you but the relationship is very shallow they just want to they just want to boink it and leave. Like, let's do the dance with no pants. And then I'm going to get my happy butt out of here and, you know, be that way. And so that's the kind of energy that you guys are always, you guys are always overcoming. It's like, you're like, no, that's not what I want. Like, you know what you want in life. You know the type of person that you want. You know the kind of energy that you want. But if you have, you have these two knights on either side of this three of swords here, it's like, this is help from the divine. This is help from God. This is help from source. This is help from the universe, from your spirit guides, your ancestors, your angels, whatever it is that you guys label them as, right? And this is saying that it's like, here, here they're on one side of you guys, offering you guys something that's very superficial. Like, this is someone who is easy to appear as a romantic and yet it's, they're not offering you anything but shallow offers, right? Then you have the Knight of Coins over here. And it's like, this, this is somebody who's trying to seem like they have more than what they have. And that's what they're offering you. It's like, they come in flashing like a huge bankroll. But really, if they pulled back the $200 bills that were on top, it would be a full stack of $1 bills. Like, they just want to appear like there's something that they're not, <laughs> 
because they're obsessed with you guys. And then you turn them down. And then now the chase is on. So you guys are really good at being chased. And that's the thing. It's like, it's not a bad thing. Like, that's actually a really good thing, especially if you're feminine energy. You are the one that's meant to be chased. Like, men are the chasers. They're the hunters. And women are the gatherers and the receivers, right? We're meant to receive. And so... And if you're just a feminine energy by nature, you're meant to receive, right? Like you're meant to receive the masculine. And and so it's just interesting because it's like they all want to give you these bunk offers. And it's like you are totally aware of that. And they see you as someone that they could have long term with. But nobody wants to offer you long term because they're so like you're you're the it girl or you're the it guy. Like it's like if if I could tell my friends that I bumped peepees with pile number one, then I would have like some status in life that, you know, no one would be able to like say anything otherwise. And that's the type of energy. And they're obsessed with you. They're obsessed with the way you look. They're obsessed with the way you turn people down. They're obsessed with everything about you guys. Your your mind, you guys maybe communicate things in a certain way and they're obsessed with that. They're obsessed with the way you guys dress. There's a sense of like being very accessorized. Like you guys always match. Like you feel like if you go out in sweatpants or sweatsuit, you guys, your sweatsuit matches and you have a hat on that matches your sweatsuit. You carry a bag that matches your sweatsuit suit that matches your socks that matches your shoes that matches your rings that matches your jewelry that matches your glasses that matches everything right and that's the type of energy it's like you guys are all matching and it's just unique you have this very unique energy about you that men are obsessed with so let me get a few more cards out on it real quick source can you tell us more about why men are obsessed with pile number one no 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 no. I just want one more card. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, because look at this. We have the nine of cups coming out here. You guys are everything. That's what I was saying. Like, you guys are like wish fulfillment. It's like they want something with you, but to, to be in your energy like that means that they would have to put in work and most people aren't willing to put in that work and they're obsessed with the way you guys leave people. Like, that's the thing. Like, they're immediately obsessed with you because you say no. And you're cool with being by yourself here. You got your bag. You're in your own little boat. This is your little kayak here. And you guys are kayaking away. Like, I'm cool with being by myself. I'm cool with doing things I want to do. You'll go in the dead of the night. You're adventurous. It's like, you guys don't care. It's like, you don't care about others. It's like, if you're not going to show up correct, then don't show up at all. Or you're in this energy of either step up or step off. And most of them don't want to step up. They don't want to step up, but they sure want to have a boot down at your bed at night. Like, that's the thing. Yeah, look in the ten of coins. Like, there are the ten of diamonds here. Like, guys, when, when you say wish fulfillment with these two coming out together, that's because your wish fulfillment. But you're in a league all of, all of your own. I heard that. A league all of their own. Why? Because... Most men don't want to put in the effort to come towards you. Most men are like, they're either too scared or it's too much work or it's like, they just, again, it's like, this is, I want to F them and leave them. And, and I'm sorry that that's what's coming through. Like, I wish it was something else, but really that's the thing. It's like men see you as like America's next top model. And it's like, you're just a dream and a prayer to them. Yeah. Yeah. So we have dog companionship coming out with uh, number 41 here. Yeah, it's like, that's the thing. I feel like for you, friendship is important. Companionship is important. But this is like what they see you as is like you could be their best friend. You're not that person that's really prude. You're not shrewd. You're not shy. You're not any of that. Like you're very forward about how you are. You're very authentic. You're very capable of showing up as you are in this now moment. And it's like, you'd be their best friend. You'd be a good companion. You would be everything to them. They could build a home with you, but that means that they would have to settle down. And a lot of these people that approach you, these men that approach you, they are like players. They're not really yet willing to settle down. And that's the other thing too, is that it would take time. It would take time to come. Wow, I have the hiccups. Are you going to let me talk? It would take time for them to build 
a connection with you. And most people, they don't want to take the time that it takes to, to gain your, your trust, to gain, to gain access to you like that. So you guys are very much in this goddess energy, okay? It doesn't matter if you're a man or a woman, but you're very much in this goddess energy and understanding your worth. And that that already, confidence is sexy, right? Like, confidence is very attractive. And so it's like you guys are confident in who you are, and it doesn't matter exactly what you look like. I Like I'm saying, there's something about your body, your image, whether you guys are really healthy or not. There's something about your body that you guys are just very voluptuous and sensual and attractive to people to men and they're very obsessed with that but it's like you guys have made it known that my worth is my worth and I'm not going to settle just because that's what you think I should do and so most men don't want to approach you because of that so we have number 23 coming out here take a chance on love when we love our lives are changed forever we have five and five with these two cards coming out here which is a cycle completing 10 right with 10 also five is the most uncomfortable place to be in and that's exactly you guys are very intimidating but men can't help but be obsessed with your intimidation at the same time they also don't really make forward motion or if they do it's always just something that's that's lame it's really lame it's lame gemini curiosity intel intellect and networking yeah was didn't i say that they like the way that you guys communicate it's like they like the way that you guys show up, but you guys are always networking. This is also giving me that energy of like you guys have many, many options. And for some reason, the more options that someone appears to have, the more attractive they are to men. Because it's like that the hunt, it's like, oh, I get to actually fight for this, like to compete for this person's attention. And that's attractive to some men, right? Like some men really like that. But you guys approach life with this curiosity and you guys are super intelligent. And that is what men are obsessed with. They can't get enough of it. And like I said, it's not going to be a real long reading today. So we're just going to see what your card is here. So we have mountain strength. Yeah. And your strength, like, okay, again, some of you guys could be bodybuilders. Like maybe you guys are power lifters and you go in and you like, boom, I just lifted 340 pounds. Like I just benched that. And they're like, what? Or you guys just pressed it. Like did the squat press or whatever. Like, and, and the guys in the gym are like, and they're obsessed with you because, like, they know that you could whoop their butts. Like, they know that you could take them down because you're strong. And so some of you guys, you guys are just very strong. For others of you guys that that's not resonating with, they just see how strong you are as a person and how you stand in your boundaries. And you're not afraid to tell someone off. Like, if they don't work for you, they don't work for you. You're not going to settle just because that's... a the only person that you have you have many many people and you guys know that you can get what you want and so that is why men are obsessed with you well i hope you guys had fun i know i did i loved your reading and if it did resonate hit that thumbs up button down below but i am gonna go ahead and leave it here and get on out of here until next time though pile one stay human Bye. hello my fellow humans that chose pile number two or this beautiful zebra jasper this is going to be your guys's reading on why are men obsessed with you my candle went out i'm not gonna light a new one it just went out <laughs> anyways it's probably too hot to grab anyways so this is just gonna be a quick reading guys um just know that if it resonates hit that thumbs up button down below knowing that as you interact with the channel it does allow me an opportunity to connect with your energy and get you out more resonant readings and Make sure you guys do subscribe and set the notification bell so you know when the next video does get uploaded. Also know that this is someone's conscious thoughts about you and it is in no way a reflection of who you truly are. So please take it with a grain of salt knowing that they are general readings. Okay, so with that being said, let's go ahead and get into your dice reading and see why are men obsessed with pile number two source? What can you tell us about why men are obsessed with pile number two? What messages do you have for them, Source? What would you like them to know? Why are men obsessed with pile number two? Okay, so we've got 11th house. We have Uranus and Saturn, or and Saturn and Sagittarius. Okay, so let me get these up here. Some Sag Sag. Shout out to all my Saggies. Shout out to everybody. <laughs> Just had to say shout out to my Saggies. All right. 
Yeah, they are obsessed with the way you guys have friend groups. I feel like you guys are constantly surrounded by people everywhere you go. Like, mm, somebody's popular. Okay, yeah, and they're just really obsessed with that. It's like, you guys are like the cheerleader, and they're the football captain, but they're not the football captain. They're actually like the nerd, but they want to be the football captain. Right? And so they're obsessed with you because you guys have a huge friend group, and you guys are also very socially aware and you guys like to get involved in things that have to do with humanity and saving humanity and taking care of the world and things that matter and helping people and that is something that they find very 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 attractive you guys also are very much praised and recognized for who you guys are because you guys are constantly looking towards the future and you guys also have a lot of friends. I mean, that's the thing that's really coming out here. It's like you guys are social butterflies and they're really attracted to that. Like men are obsessed with that. It's it's almost like there's this energy that's underlying that though pile two that it's like, oh, if I could just be part of pile two circle, then I would, you know, like being equated with pile two would raise my my status like that is something that is coming out so just be leery of that you know just knowing that that's coming through but they are obsessed with the fact that you guys are super wise you guys are adventurous you guys are optimistic like I feel like you guys are the ones that always have a smile on your face and as soon as you enter the room as soon as your smile cracks open like they just they they can't help but smile from ear to ear because you're smiling and they think your smile is so attractive and beautiful you guys are truth tellers and truth seekers and they really appreciate this they appreciate the bluntness of how you guys approach others and you're not afraid to tell people how you feel or what you believe especially with the Sagittarian energy here it's all about connected to religions and spirituality and so you guys aren't afraid to discuss about what it is that you believe in whatever that is right you guys really centered in your beliefs and it matters to you and this is something that men really find attractive because it's like you're not going to fold just because someone has a new idea or you're not going to give in just because someone came up with this new grand scheme or whatever. It's like you guys have really studied and taken time to have rituals in your belief system. And because of that, you guys are very grounded in whatever your faith is. Okay. You guys are very versatile. You guys are enthusiastic. And you guys could be very wealthy too. Like you guys could be extremely wealthy. And they see that. Or you guys just appear to be very wealthy. You guys have good morals. And you're very open minded. And you guys are always growing. And it just seems like just to be in your energy would make them feel very, very lucky. Right? And Uranus here. It seems like a lot of the men that are in your life that are obsessed with you have known you from a prior time because you guys have gone through a radical change, right? You guys have overcome something. You guys have changed so much and you're unpredictable and you're rebellious. And it's like, because of that, like they feel like they would be able to connect with their inner child if they were around you guys. We have 11th house and Uranus energy, which is connected with Aquarian energy as well. Both of them are. So it's just being being the, the one that doesn't fit in, but because you don't fit in, you stand out in a very beautiful way. Right. There's something really attractive about your legs to the lower. This is odd. The lower part of your legs, like from the knee down, you guys have really attractive calves or really muscular calves or really lean calves. And you guys have very petite ankles that they like. So maybe you guys wear high heel shoes a lot or you guys wear open, uh, open face shoes, like open toe shoes and, you know, something that shows your ankle. So you guys may show off the bottom part of your leg and wear maybe capri pants a lot, or you roll up your pants or you wear shorts a lot or something along those lines, but they really like your calves. <laughs> like that's something that they're obsessed with. You guys are a very free soul. Okay. Some of you guys could be connected with astrology too, and that is coming through and they find that very unique and interesting and intriguing right like a lot of men just they really like when women are bold in who they are like they really enjoy that and it's like even if they don't believe it most men who are in their light energy really appreciate a woman who stands strong in her beliefs and is level-headed and isn't afraid to also defend herself 
in certain ways. Like they like a strong woman. Not someone that's going to demasculate them or anything like that. But if you're a man here too, it's just you guys are so much in that feminine energy of, and you guys are super enthusiastic. And this could be someone who just wants to be a friend, but they're obsessed with being your friend, right? So take it as it resonates. There's a lot of different energies that are coming in here. I do know that the majority of the people that watch my channel are women, but I do have some men out there too. So I try to try to get you guys all included because I do feel like that is what's coming through here. This is more or less if you're a man watching this and you're a masculine man, why are men obsessed with you? It's because they feel like being your friend would take them to the next level. But I do feel like all those other things are there too. Like you guys have a nice smile. It makes them smile. You know, that doesn't have to necessarily be an attraction thing or it could be, you know. So let's see here, guys. Let's get some cards out on it. So Source, why are men obsessed with pile number two? What messages can you tell us? How can you help us understand? Why are men obsessed with pile number two? Why are men obsessed with pile number two, Source? Thank you. Why are men obsessed with pile number two, Source? What can you tell us? Thank you. Why are men obsessed with pile number two, source? Whoa. <laughs> Coming out flying. Okay. Why are men obsessed? <sighs> Wants to be this way. Okay. Why are men obsessed with pile number two, source? Don't think I got five cards for pile one. Maybe I did. I don't remember. But. It's flipped over. Okay. Yeah. You guys are so strong. Okay, let's see what your cards say. What did I say? You guys are like truth seekers. And we have the Ace of Swords starting your guys' reading here. Yeah, you guys are like truth tellers. You're not afraid to tell people the truth. Like, I feel like people have known you from the past. Like, that's what I'm saying here. It's like... People have seen you guys work on relationships or connections in the past. These men have. And they've seen you guys fall and also equally transform something. Whether that was defeat or uh, promiscuity or your reputation. This has something to do with your reputation. Like you guys have built your reputation up. So even if you're a man here. Maybe you had a reputation as being a player and now you're not and you're getting more attention from people who are like on a much higher level than you were before. Or like if you're a woman watching this and it's like you, you guys may be, uh, had been promiscuous in your past, you know, and you guys have healed that. And now you guys are getting attention from everybody, right? Like these men included, but they've watched you guys come from this place of dealing with people who wanted to see you fail and seeing you dim your light. Like you guys have a very bright light, no matter who you are, you guys shine very bright. You guys command a lot of attention wherever you go. Like people really appreciate being in your energy and being known by you or knowing you in general. Like people really do appreciate that. But men really, they really are obsessed with how strong you are, like how far you have come, like what you guys have, have dealt with and healed in your life. And it's like, so I get this sense of being disconnected, coming from a place of disconnection into a place of being open and vulnerable. And it's that vulnerability that attracts them. Like, it's like, you guys aren't afraid to be in that energy of I'm going to tell you, I'm going to share my story with you, knowing that my story is just something that happened to me. You guys no longer identify with your story. It's no longer a part of who you are. It's just something that has happened to you. I mean, it is a part of who you are, but it's not why you guys do the things you do anymore. When before it was, you guys did these things, you were hurt by relationships, so you became promiscuous. And that's something that you guys have learned to heal because you realize this is something that's been going on for far too long. And so in seeking your own truth and learning your own truth about your life and who you are, you guys have made progress and healed a part of yourself that was keeping you in lack and poverty, 
And so now you guys are becoming prosperous in your soul energy. And that's showing to men, right? That's showing to them. So let's get a couple of others on it here. Source, can I please have two more cards here? Thank you. Look, the eight of coins or the eight of diamonds coming out with the eight of coins here. Yeah, they've watched you guys mend these hurts from the past. I love the synchronicities already with your guys' pile. They got, they've seen you guys go through a lot and had some rips and tears in your energy and had some rips and tears in your person and just heal yourself greatly from past hurts and pains and sufferings. And it's like you guys have worked to mend yourself. Like this is falling in love with yourself. I'm going to work on me because working on me is the only thing that I have control over. And it's like in that you guys have changed the whole of who you are. Now you guys aren't afraid to say what you want and you're allowing your unique self to shine, right? And so men are obsessed with that. They're obsessed. Look, we started with the Ace of Swords and we're ending with the Ace of Swords. I can't with you guys. <laughs> oh my gosh, I love these synchronicities. They're so awesome. I get so excited. This is why I love tarot, guys. I can't. Source is so incredible. Just this connection is so beautiful. So that's the thing. It's like you guys are so honest and truthful. And it's like you learned how to become honest and truthful with yourself. And that made you so strong. And that's why it's like men are obsessed with the fact that you guys are super honest and, and trustworthy. Look, and the lovers behind that in the upright with the six of cups. And they see you guys as a perfect partner. And they see you guys as someone they want to be in your life. Because there's always going to be this sense of loyalty between you guys. Like they know that they could show up as vulnerable with you. And there wouldn't be any... Okay, that's a new sound. Sorry, my dog. She's like, that made... I think she's trying to cry in her sleep. But they know that they could show up being vulnerable with you and there'd be no judgments made. They could just be who they are with you and that would be a very beautiful thing. Look, and they see you guys... Yeah, what was I saying? As the perfect partner. Someone they could build with. This ten of diamonds here. It's like they see you guys as someone they could have a whole life with. Right? And and it would be real. It wouldn't just be like surface level. This would be something that's very real. Like it would be a deep connection. Because you guys are so honest, they feel like they could tell everything about themselves to you guys, which you guys might find. Many men come to you guys and share their whole story with you guys. And you're probably like, whoa, hold up. Like we don't know each other like that. What's going on here? And it's just because they feel so comfortable around you guys. You guys give off a very welcoming, open energy. And that's what's what they're obsessed with. You guys could also have a fire sign very highly dominant in your chart. Uh, fire sign, uh, sun, sun, moon, and rising, or Venus. It doesn't have to be. I am getting Leo or Sagittarius as the ones that are coming through here. Wow, okay, that is too many. Too many cards, source. Just one. Um, or you guys could have a uh, Gemini highly aspect in your chart. All right, source, I just want one. Can you please have a card for pile two? Okay, there's something I need to talk about. What do you want me to talk about? So the other thing here, too, is with the with the eye in the middle of the sword here, it's like you guys are super intuitive. And we have 11 with 1 here. So we have the card 11 next to the ace. And so that's 111 coming out here. And so, again, coming back to that faith, you guys have really, really profound faith or you practice your faith. And that's why men are obsessed with you guys. Is Again, it just comes back to that energy of being truly in love with someone or really admiring someone who is so stable in who they are. Like there's nothing that's going to shake your faith. There's nothing that's going to shake what you believe. There's nothing that's going to shake you to changing who you are because someone's coming with this idea. And there's a, there's a balance to you guys. That's why they feel so comfortable because you guys are very balanced in your energy. And now you come out. Now you come out. <sighs> Look, guys, I can't. We have Sagittarius coming out on the bottom. Optimism, exploration, and freedom. Yeah, you guys have a very unique energy about you guys. It's very beautiful. It's very intoxicating is the word. 
Wow, that came up quick. And then we have slow down, pause and allow things to unfold. Like, I feel like you guys make people slow down. It's like some people may approach you and want to quickly, quickly go to the next level. And you're like, wait, hold on, hold on, back up. <laughs> Look, peacock, prosperity. What did I say? You guys have come out of this lack mindset, this lack and poverty mindset that you once were in, and now you guys are, are prosperous in your soul. And then we have peacock prosperity coming out. I know I said that. I know that came out just a few minutes ago, guys. That is so trippy. With 39 and 39 is 12. It's like you guys have changed the way you view things, and now you're seeing things and very grateful for where you're at. And feeling blessed in everything that you do and knowing that that really matters to you. Again, that goes back to your faith, just trusting in the process. And then we have number seven here. It says the only thing that is real is love. Shift your focus back to love. You know, again, in that energy being lucky here with number seven, it's like you guys know that as long as I stay in this vibration of unconditional love for myself, everything's going to work out for me okay, right? Look, and trying, I love this, angelic support, harmony, and perfect flow. Yeah, you, so you guys could seem like an angel to a lot of men. Like, they see you as an earth angel. They see you as the angel that they want in life. But you guys are very harmonious and balanced with that number six energy, right? It's all about seeing yourself through the eyes of the divine and seeing yourself with eyes of unconditional love. And you guys are always flowing. Like, there's no real, like, forcing against someone else or something else. Like, you guys just kind of go with the flow and see what happens. But you're always looking out for yourself. And men are obsessed with this. And so it's actually a really beautiful thing here. Yeah, and we have Autumn Equinox coming out here with release. Men are obsessed with the fact that you're not afraid to let go of the old to embrace the new. We saw that with the cards, right? You guys are not afraid to transform. You're not afraid to come into that period of darkness so that you can once again embrace the light. And that's what men are obsessed with. So this is what I have for you guys, Pile 2. I hope that it resonates. I am going to leave it there, though. If it did, hit that thumbs up button down below. And with that being said, guys, I'm going to go ahead and get on a, out of here. But until next time, Pile 2, stay human. Bye. Hello, pile number three, my fellow humans that chose this beautiful moonstone. This is going to be a reading on why are men obsessed with you. It is just a quick reading. Also, keep in mind, this is how somebody views you guys. So please take it with a grain of salt. It is in no way, shape, or form a true reflection of you guys. If it resonates, it resonates. That's fine. But just remember that it's not what people think of us. It's what we think of ourselves. So if it does resonate, hit that thumbs up button down below, knowing that as you guys interact with the channel, it does allow me an opportunity to connect with your energy to get you out more resonant readings. Make sure you guys are subscribed to the channel with that notification bell set so you guys always get notified when the next video does come out. And with that being said, let's go ahead and get into your dice reading and ask, why are men obsessed with pile number three source? Why are men obsessed with pile number three? What can we tell them? What information do you have for them? Why are men obsessed with pile number three? Someone sexy. <laughs> no, you guys have first house, Leo energy, and Venus. So yeah, very attractive. Um, very fiery and very sensual. So you guys have a lot of passion that you exude. You guys may, without realizing it, you guys may exude a lot of sexual energy, right? Sometimes we're very sexual without realizing that we're very sexual, but it does have to do with your appearance and your independence and your individuality. They're very obsessed with the way you guys show up in life for yourself you guys are also very playful. You guys are a leadership. You embrace your inner child. You're not afraid to have a good time. Like you guys are very spontaneous. I feel like you guys love spontaneity and you live your life based on that. And you're very brave and you do things that most people wouldn't. You guys are also very charismatic and confident. You do have a lot of self pride and you are the center of attention. You guys may have a lot of popularity, fame. You guys are glamorous you guys have a lot of happiness that surrounds you guys. You guys come across as very happy. 
and artistic and you're warm and men just love to be in your energy. It makes them feel like kids again. Like, I feel like I'm a kid again. That's what I keep hearing. I feel like I'm a kid again. Oh, I have so much fun with you, pile three. You guys are, again, with this Venusian energy next to this Leo energy, I mean, and the first house, can we talk about how attractive you guys are? Like, can we just for a minute talk about that? Like, you guys are, like, the girl next door or the boy next door. Like, that's it. It's, like, you're the one that they're drawing hearts for in their binder. You're the one that they're, like, writing on their locker that they love you. Like, you're the one that, like, when you walk in the room, everything stops and it's, like, the wind is blowing on you and everything goes in slow motion. Like, you guys are super attractive people. They think you're very attractive. They're obsessed with your looks and how you guys are just how you guys are. And you guys are very sensual. You guys are very luxurious. You bring a lot of peace into their lives. So it's not just that you guys are beautiful people. It's like you guys are also very balanced and kind. And because of that, it's like it's it's like tenfold, right? It's like you're not beautiful with an ugly personality. You're beautiful and extra beautiful because you have a beautiful heart. Like it's like so it compounds on top of everything here. And so, especially with this Venusian energy, and I feel like you guys may be single. That's not going to resonate with everyone, but there is this energy of being single, or you guys appear to be single, even if you're not, because you guys are very much taking care of yourself all the time. Like, you're the one that will take the extra time to do your makeup in the morning, to do your hair, to dress nicely, and not for anybody in particular, but yourself. Like, you guys will go out of the way, and men are obsessed with this. This. They love that you do this. They think that it is, uh, like I just, uh, uh, like they're they probably like make little stories about you guys together. Like it's this is a very unique energy here. But when beauty comes down to it, it's like, like that's it. You guys are like the epitome of beautiful and. Uh, Maybe you don't think so. Like, maybe you don't think you are, but you, you really are. Like, men find you attractive and they're obsessed with how you look. And I know that's, like, such a shallow thing to be obsessed with, but men are very visual creatures, and so the first thing that they notice is what they see with their eyes. And then the rest all comes into play, too. But see, it's like, not only do they like what they see with their eyes, they like what they know about you or what they've gotten to know about you. But also for those that haven't, they're just obsessed with the way that you look. Like, they think that you're really sexy. They think that you're really beautiful. They think that you're really attractive. Even if you're a guy watching this, like, you're just a really attractive dude. Like, you're just like, whoa, or a man, or a guy, right? <laughs> I'm not trying to be rude or anything. Like, no, you guys are just really attractive people. So let's ask the cards. Source, um, why are men obsessed with pile number three here? Oh, coming out. Okay. Why are men obsessed with pile number three? Okay. Are those what you want? Yeah, I didn't think so. Okay. So you guys could have Leo Sun or Leo Venus. Why are men obsessed with pile number three source? Okay. Okay. Thank you. Why are men obsessed with pile number three? There we go. I'm just going to flip these over to see. Well, <laughs> you guys have some big energy. Yeah, can I say? Okay, we've got the Queen of Wands again. How sexy are you? Like, people dream about you. Like, people have unique dreams about you. We'll just say that. Okay. So, people are obsessed with you because you've been through a lot. You've been through a lot. Like, men are obsessed with you in particular because you guys have persevered through some really difficult times. And because you guys are so beautiful, like, I, I feel like men are very protective of you guys. You may find that, even if you're a guy watching this, like, you may find that you have a lot of guy friends that are very protective over you. And it's because... They know what you've been through or they've, they witnessed the sadness in your eyes of trauma's past, of things that have happened in the past. 
It's like, I feel like you guys are like the ugly duckling syndrome. Like you've never actually known how beautiful you are. And then you guys have blossomed into this beautiful swan without even realizing it. You still feel like you're the ugly duckling and you're not. And part of it's just a journey that you've taken. There's been a lot of times where you guys have carried responsibility that hasn't been yours to carry. Or people expected something out of you that wasn't theirs to expect. And it wasn't yours to even provide. And it's like you guys also conformed at some point to societal beliefs that you had to be a certain way in order to be liked or to be loved or to be cared about. And the men that you guys know, they may have known you guys for a while or maybe they're familiar with your story or they've just watched you online and they've seen you guys progress through hardships, right? It's not that you guys spill it all out there, but it's like just certain things they've noticed and they've paid really acute attention to. And then all of a sudden something changed. And when that changed, you guys blossomed into this beautiful being. And now you guys have boundaries where maybe once before you didn't, where something bad would happen and it would send you backwards and it would send you into this place of darkness. And now you guys are building yourselves up in this emotional stability. So you guys are very emotionally stable and men really do admire that. And they're obsessed with that because it's like you guys aren't going to be quick to blow up like you're not the person that's going to go and key their car for being upset like that's not you like you're not like that at all like I don't know how else to explain this it's like you're also not going to cause a scene like if you're upset you're gonna be like we need to go somewhere and talk about this like we need to really discuss this you're not just going to cause a scene and men are obsessed with that because it's different than a lot of energies that they're dealing with like if you know a lot of energies that men deal with are very crazy energies they're very um, unhealed energies, tra traumatized energies. And that's how a lot of people, they respond in life is from that trauma. And so however that trauma happened, if it was when they were young, they're going to show up in a very immature place, right? And if it was, you know, however it affected them, there's going to leave, it's going to leave them disconnected from being able to discuss things in a, uh, even, uh, have an even leveled manner. Yeah level-headed that's what they wanted to say it's like even level I was like what does this mean a uh, level-headed manner and that's you guys are you do that like you discuss things in a level-headed manner I feel like some men have watched you guys discuss things or they've been the product of of being in this crazy energy and coming towards you and you just calmly said what you needed to say to them and you moved on and you're you're always looking towards the future you guys are always looking towards what's what's coming to you or where it is that you are in this moment and taking action in this moment and it's like I feel like you guys don't realize just how amazing you are not just your beauty but just what you guys offer like you offer this very beautiful energy that people can reside in because you've healed so much and men are obsessed with your energy as well as your beauty and it's like two peas in a pod that come together and make you just like the best of the best of the best and I feel like you guys may not know this about yourself some of you guys may but there's this energy around you guys that you're just like no this maybe isn't my pile and it's like no it is it's like you guys just don't realize this about yourselves you don't realize how unique you are and how strong and level-headed you are and how emotionally mature you are in a world that is very emotionally immature and that may not seem like a very big thing to you guys, but for many men, they want to, they want a person in their life, whether that's a friend or a lover or, you know, a connection, they want someone in their life that isn't just going to fly off the rocker and scream and throw things at them. They want someone that they can discuss things with. And there are a lot of traumatized men out there too, that, that are in that very crazy, uneven level uh, energy right like they're just not in a good place and so it goes both ways but really in this men are obsessed with you and that's because they're they see somebody that they could communicate with that they could really talk and have a conversation with and it's not going to go on for all hours of the night it's not going to go on for the whole time this is something that like I'm going to tell you how I feel what I'm go what's going on and give you a solution and likewise you're gonna have you're gonna have an opportunity to say how you feel what's going on with you and you offer a solution and this is like two minds coming together to create a pathway forward and that's exactly what's coming through and men are obsessed with you because of that like they just like oh pile three like I know that I could have good happy 
life with them because of that. So what do we got on the bottom? We have four of hearts on the bottom here. Yeah, it's like you guys have been offered crap. <laughs> Can I just say, and this is, this is why you guys don't see yourself necessarily from this beautiful place, or you guys are learning how to really love yourselves now, because all the relationships and the love that you guys have been offered before has been absolute bull. Like it's not good. It's, it's ugly and it's been difficult and it's been something that's been weighing on your heart. And you're not, you're not necessarily in this place of seeing, right? Of seeing that there's a chance for happiness, of seeing that there's this chance for emotional security. And you're building that right now, right? You're building that. With these two Four of Cups here, it's like, I love that the Four of Cups came out on the bottom for you guys. Look, and we have temperance underneath that. It's like you guys are in the process of balancing out the light and the dark attributes in yourself and coming into this place of balance. And it's like you guys already have in such a profound way that it's affecting the men around you. Like they don't see you like they used to. Maybe before people just saw you as beautiful and someone that they could walk all over. And now they see you as someone who's beautiful and who has standards and who knows their worth. Even if you're maybe questioning that sometimes, like you guys have placed in these boundaries that are allowing you guys to unfurl your worth. And when you guys feel worthy and deserving on the inside, men see that and they become obsessed with that because it's like, oh, that's a goddess that I want in my life or that's a God that I want in my life. Yeah, you guys are sexy. Ooh, we've got the devil coming out here on the five of clubs. It's like, you guys are so, like, they're, and, and again, with obsession, right? They're obsessed with you. Like, they can't get enough of you. It's the way you guys show up in life. It's you. It, it's not really necessarily anything you do. It is you. It's you as a whole package. There's, like, everything about you is, like, I can't get enough of you. I can't, people feel chained to you automatically. It's like, they just want... Like, why do I hear that Britney Spears song? I'm a slave for you. Like, that's what it is. Like, they just, they will do your beck and call. Like, you guys have grown so much. And equally so with the devil coming out here, there's like this surprise energy of how could Pile 3 ever have dealt with the devil in the past, right? Well, if you're on the spiritual journey, you know that that is what has helped you grow into who you are today. But there is still that energy. It's like people just don't understand how someone like you could have had to have gone through these ugly relationships in the past. These things that weren't serving you. These things that weren't on the same level as you. They're like, it's like I hear men saying, you know what, if I had pile three in my life, I would make sure they were always smiling. If I had pile three in my life, I would make sure that they'd never cry. Like, and it's like, you know, things that maybe aren't necessarily possible all the time, but it's like they would go above and beyond to make sure that you're taken care of. And yet they see, look, the, you guys may have had three really bad relationships in the past. And the reason I'm saying three is because there's three fires here. And then there's three cups here on the bottom. And so it's like you guys may have given up on love or connection like that. Or even if this is friendships, this could be three really toxic friendships in the past. Right? But it's like you guys went through this bout of toxicity. And now you guys have turned, like I keep getting that, the ugly duckling syndrome. You guys have turned into this beautiful, beautiful swan. And I feel like you guys get stalked by a lot of men on social media, on whatever you guys post on. And it's because they can't get enough of you. This came out in every pile. This came out in every pile. The ten of the ten of diamonds. That's the thing. Like they see you guys as a happy ever after. A dream come true. A wish come true. I can build a family with you. I can have I can be family with you, right? Like if it's just friends, it's like just having friendship as family is a big deal to them. But it's like they see you guys as a wish come true. And if, and again, if you're a man watching this, that's fine. That's fine. It's just, they see you as someone who they could spend a whole life with. And you got, you guys would be like the grumpy old men together. Like you've been best friends your whole life, even though you guys are razzing each other all the time. Right. But they see that and they, they find peace in knowing that there's somebody out there who can share that with them. Yeah. Look, we have 33 on the bottom here. Chameleon change. Like a lot of these men that are in your guys' lives, they've seen you guys change. They've seen you guys shapeshift. 
You guys went from blending in to standing out. And it felt like it was overnight for them. And for you, I'm sure you're probably like, no, that took a long time for me to get there. But it's in the most beautiful way. And they see you guys as someone that's very, 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 very sexy. This could be someone that's coming to come be in a union with you guys. Because we do have conjunction on the bottom. Union merging, coming together. like. But men do, they're obsessed with you because they feel like you're the ultimate part partner. Like you're the have all, be all, end all. Right? Okay. Let's see. And I want this one. I don't know if I actually got one of these for pile two or pile one, but I feel like I need to get one of these for you guys. Okay, so we have you're being impatient when it comes to love. First, you must heal from the past and fully be able to let go while having forgiveness from the heart. This is what men have seen. They've seen you go from being impatient when it comes to love to now you guys are focused on your healing and letting go and forgiving. And then we have love is not about being perfect. Love is about being perfect together. And that's how that's how they see you. They don't see you as being perfect. They see you as being their perfect calf. Right? Like they see you as being the one that they could be and have a perfect relationship with or have a perfect connection with or have a perfect friendship with. I can't. I'm done. I was talking to you guys about the ugly duckling syndrome and we got the swan card. What kind of... What is that? What is that? Oh my gosh. The synchronicities in this reading are unreal. <sighs> Okay, so we have beauty, swan, and t number 20, and that's the thing, like, you guys are, you're absolutely blinded by how beautiful you are, like, you're not seeing it, you're blindfolded, you don't see how gorgeous you are, you still feel like you're the ugly duckling, and I don't mean that with disrespect, I mean that as in, you guys really don't see how incredibly beautiful you are. You guys are beautiful people. You're very sexy. You're very sensual. You're the one that somebody wants in their life. You're the one that everybody wants in their life because you guys are so beautiful. Then we have 37. Act as if your partner is here. Whether you have someone in your life or not, act as if they are with you so you will always consider them. And this is how people are. They like imagine a life with you. They act as if you're their partner. Okay, like, that's the thing. Like, people imagine a life with you. Like, they imagine having a family with you. And it's not just one person. Like, this is, like, a lot of men imagine having a life with you. And if it's not a love relationship, right, they imagine having you as their friend. Like, they know that it would just be a really good connection as a friend. Because it's, like, again, there's that status thing. But there's just seeing you. There's something about you that's very beautiful. Square, we have a challenging situation and a mountain to climb. This is what you guys have overcome. You guys have overcome this difficult situation. It's like you guys are wondering when are things going to start playing good for me. It's like they already are because you've overcome this, this challenging situation. You've climbed the mountain. You've done so much. You guys have transformed your life. Okay, we're going to find out what your oracle card is and then that will be the end of your reading. Yeah, so we have spring equinox with rebirth here. This makes so much sense. Like, you guys are letting go of cycles, old patterns. You guys are blossoming into this beautiful butterfly. You guys are gaining a lot of wisdom on your journey. It's like you guys have been alone, but speaking your truth and finding your truth has helped you out so much on the journey. And rebirth is all about transformation. And that's everything that we talked about on your guys' reading. It's just so profound. And that's the thing. Men are obsessed with you because you guys have transformed. You guys have gone from the ugly duckling into the swan. You guys have gone from being in this place of, of being almost desperate to be seen by the people that you love to now it's like, you're, you're like, look, you either show me your truth or you don't, you show me you're real or you don't. And you're, you're turning the cheek, you're the other cheek. It's like, I'm going to turn the other way. If you're going to be real in my life, then you can approach me. I'm not going to go chasing anymore. And that's what makes you so desirable. That's why men are obsessed with you guys. 
So this is what I have for you, Pile 3. I absolutely loved your reading. It was awesome. I had a lot of fun with it. If it resonates, make sure you guys hit that thumbs up button down below. I'm going to go ahead and get on out of here. And until next time, Pile 3, stay human. Bye.